Okay, so Julie wrote in and asked, how can I channel angels? Well, that's a really broad question. <laughs> um, and we talked a little bit about that in this previous class, but suffice it to say that your angels are always around you and you can talk to them at any time. Talking is not the same as channeling. Channeling is an endeavor that we undertake where we intentionally put ourselves in what I call the receiver position. The receiver position is this energetic disposition of allowance. It's an energetic disposition of neutrality. And we enter into the receiver position so that we can more closely connect or dynamically connect with those beings that we are trying to channel. Because the receiver position resembles trance. And trance is highly psychic. When we're in a trance, we are, but necessarily, we are psychic in that moment. And so to put yourself in the receiver position would be the first thing you do. You can do that as part of a meditation, just get very relaxed and very neutral. To be in the receiver position means you don't need it to be something in specific. You don't need this to, to look a certain way or to, to go down a certain way. Once you're in the receiver position and in that state of neutrality, you make the conscious intention to interact with your angels. There's a variety of ways that you can do this. You can go up on my YouTube and you can check out, I, there's already a video called Powerful Angel Invocation. It works. It's associated with me, Crystal Ann Compton. Search for that and listen to that because that's a cool invocation that involves some words you've probably never heard of and it, uh, it works. And I receive letters still from people who have used this invocation and have had like radical experiences. So Use the invocation and see if that works. You can do things like divinely inspired communications through writing. We call this automatic writing. That people tend to get a little nervous when you say automatic writing. It's just sitting down really when you're in that receiver position and either typing questions and answers or writing them out, but allowing yourself to be in that energy. You can also essentially just ask your angels to engage you more often and let you know how they would like to work with you. Um, when I first started channeling, these were interdimensionals, not angels, but kind of the same thing actually. When I first started channeling, they, they had to tap me on the shoulder to get me to, to understand that they were there, that they wanted to work with me. And then they gave me the protocol and they had to give me adjustments in my body and in my energy so I could hold their signature or their basically their specific brand of information. And so they taught me how they wanted to channel with me. So just be available, be open, put your intention out there, try something like the invocation and continue to practice. Continue to show up for these sessions with yourself and your angels where you're doing automatic writing or you're using your crystals or you're praying or you're using the invocation. Try and have a schedule because remember, spirit keeps its appointments. If we have an appointment every day at seven o'clock to meditate, or to channel, the spirits are going to show up exactly at that time to meet us where we are. So get disciplined about it and put yourself into that position and see what happens. <music>